Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT. Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us for this first-round matchup between the UNLV Running Rebels and the Providence Friars. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. Early in the ball game, these two teams try to set their particular tempo. The Friars are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And finally, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Great shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Get that sucker out of the game, man. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Bed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to pack it inside. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Almost lost the basketball. Entry pass in the paint for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. the offense now they work it around the perimeter he looks at the hoop number 13 takes the pass he takes the shot off the baseline the Friars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that is on fire the shooting guard takes the feed there's the trap there he is strips the ball loose Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Takes away the pass. He drains it. What an ugly display of team defense, Brad. Boy, I'll say, they look exhausted if you ask me, Dick. From left of the circle, way off target. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number one picks up the foul. First personal foul. the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They work it around the perimeter. 
Moving it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. For the bucket. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in a nice inside basket. The power forward gets the pass. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Providence have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They work the perimeter. The small forward gets the ball. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. The frustration right there. What a great strip. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Inside. Turns it over. Cross court. Number one with the ball. From the top of the circle, the running Rebels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Friars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. They move it into the front court. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. With the rejection. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Up and inside. Tries for two. In and out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. <laughs> On the outside. Great anticipation defensively. <laughs> Turnaround jumper. Number 34 is emotionally pumped up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Gave it up. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Get it out into transition. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. out of bounds. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out.
pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sinks it. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. in front to take it away. Here they go into transition. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The Friars have got a couple of NIT championships and Final Four appearances. Not to mention a collection of outstanding pass players and pass players turned coaches, Dick. Well, the Friars have had some great ones on the sidelines and suiting up for them. It's rare that you see a school like this with few national championship banners. Oh, what a strip, Red. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Double team now, bad angle. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. Thanks, Aaron. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Now the high screen. Providence have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. There's a double team waiting there. Number 13 with the theft. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 13, slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor execution of the double team, Brad. These boys were taught better. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the pick. There's the roll. Stolen ball. They push it up on the break. Number draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. And there they miss one. Trying to draw some contact. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up.
There's a high screen. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Providence are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Looking for contact. Accepts it. For two, perfectly executed. In the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the bucket to fall. Screen up on top. And a slam. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? He comes away with it. There's the trap. Takes it off him. He shoots from the top of the key. The Friars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He looks for the bomb. Gets it to go. Down the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're working around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. the bucket the Friars have got to continue to get him the ball that he's on fire that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals a pass. Long down court pass. Great play to take that to the basket. the replay ball was knocked loose but the offense got it back now he faces up on the low block I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket he rejects it that was intimidation city But inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. He nails the shot. The ball is out of play. Excellent spacing. That's so important. Lots of set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He fakes the shot. Gave it up. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. it up and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beat them to the spot can't get it to go on the outside nice fake now they work it around the perimeter gave it up here's the offensive drop step in the low block but better defense I'll tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline they run it up into transition Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Unloads. He gets the shot to fall. At halftime, the running Rebels trail by 21. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? What's some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad? The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Providence displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be died. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential if they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? And no whistle. Wow, well, no call. He liked that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Ball handler's in trouble. And he 
tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 31 is called for the foul. First personal foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Number one with the steal. Number 20 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Both shots no good. Strong rebound and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. around the perimeter high post screen and he scores despite the hack gave it up number one steals the ball Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle. Goes. Replay, please. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the baseline. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Sinks the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dump it inside. He strokes it. He buries the shot. Work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. 
with a bucket. Perfectly executed. Number one takes it away. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He launches a three. Nice shot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. This whole team, there's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Number 13 with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fake. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. You can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 13 comes up with it. And he'll kick it back outside. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. off the pass. Number 20 makes a great move to draw the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 20 to the line, shooting two. He gets it to go. Free throws go. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Team grabs it. My goodness. 
players these days in their athleticism, basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Tries for two, makes the shot. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Look at that spacing. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Kicks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. I tell you, the Big East is really something. Any conference that can put up to eight teams into the NCAA tournament is legit. It's a power conference, Brad. It has been in the past, and it will continue to be. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. In the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes it away. Here we go on the break for two. They are heating up this building when they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle, UNLV are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. They work it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Blocks the shot. Bring it hard or don't bring it at all. Makes it. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Dick and Brad, the underdogs are playing with a nothing-to-lose mentality. I'm right by their bench right now, and they're screaming, let's leave it all out on the floor. Guys, we could have an upset right now in the making. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And now they'll bring it up. They'd like to get it inside with a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Taken away. They work the perimeter. On the outside. From downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Well, this is a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. He tries to down the three. Off the mark. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. A 
up and inside. From right of the circle, UNLV are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key to He tries the three. He hits it. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. For two, he puts it in with back ball. The Friars have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. With the fake. Up fake. Gets it back out. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. From beyond the arc, the shot won't fall. Number one is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production look like? very important skills which your big players should possess. Third shot. Looking for a good Brings it. Looking for a good shot. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Way out on top. Controlling the P blocks the shot. The point guard gets the ball. out of bounds. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Picks off the lazy pass. The center with the ball. Tries for two. UNLV are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, to put it together on offense. Can they on the dribble gives it up the bucket to fall he tries the three ball tickles the twine Missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He unloads a three, goes. The shooting guard gets the pass. For the deuce, basket falls despite the contact. out of bounds. Oh, oh, no, man. Oh. That'll be the wrong way. The shooting guard takes the pass. For the bucket. Bucket 
despite the harm. Low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. He shoots from the baseline. Providence are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Gave it up. He launches a three. Makes it. Dumps it in. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. Goes up for two. They waited too long on that double. Yeah, that trap was snapped. Dump it inside. High post screen. Going to use it. Up. Easy one. That basketball. The small forward receives the ball. Great defense. The running Rebels are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they change things up a little bit, Brad. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Looking around the perimeter. The point guard handles the feed. Can't get it to go. For two. Interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Steals the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes it off him. Shot clock is dead. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Number four wants even more support from the fans, Dick. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. They work it around the arc. High post flasher is open. In the paint. He goes with a jump hook. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. And let's go back out onto the floor. This is the big time. He misses from the outside. Dick, it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot.
Talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Providence comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.